Uh, calls are mounting for Congress to do something about the gun violence in this country. And one of those making that call is Peter Venero, who served New Jersey as Attorney General and as a state Supreme Court Justice. Welcome back to the program. Thank you, Mike. What, what would you like Congress to do? I think Congress needs to urgently take up the issue of a federal assault weapons ban. We have a ban in New Jersey. We've had such a ban for many years. I think you are able to balance legitimate uh, recreational use and uh, hunting rights and self-protection against the right uh, of reasonable regulation, and I think we need to reach that balance. How would you define assault weapons? Well, in New Jersey, we have an actual list. It's very specific in the statute, and then there's a catch-all phrase that anything that's substantially identical to the list would be considered, and uh, we haven't had uh, any real problems with enforcement. Uh, in fact, when I was Attorney General, I issued a memorandum to all the uh, law enforcement officials to make sure there would be consistency and uniformity in enforcing the law, and it's worked well in New Jersey. And some have said, you know, it's not the, the weapons themselves, it's the clips, perhaps. Would that be a, well, an element Well, it's clips here? and weapons. Uh, you have to look at everything. And it's just not gun control. If we're talking about school safety, we really need to look at the broader issue of mental health and uh, whether our buildings are physically secure. No one answer will solve this issue, but certainly gun control is part of it. You've written about this recently. You alluded to your own past and some of the actions that you took uh, during your time in office to get the word out, to evaluate with school officials and law enforcement officials the security status of schools. That's right. Uh, we need to look and see and make sure our schools are as safe as they can be. Uh, they're fairly safe in New Jersey, but you could always find improvement. I think you need to, in a very thoughtful way, review the existing training, the existing safety precautions. But how school. do you guard against a madman? Uh, it's very hard to do that. There's no 100% guarantee. But if you look at broader issues like mental health, like mentoring young people, like uh, early childhood development, you can begin to get at the problem from a broader perspective. Because you're right, we cannot hermetically seal off any school or any building, and you're always going to have some element of violent crime. But I think you can reduce the risk and you can do better. We had the mayor of Marlboro on this program last week. They have now instituted a policy of putting armed police officers in every school, or so they say. Uh, do you think that's a good idea? I think it's an idea we should discuss. I'm not sure you need it in every school in every district, uh, but I do think you should you think look at that. it's appropriate in some schools and some districts? I think it's appropriate to consider. Uh, and we have that now uh, in uh, North Hundred and High School where my kids attend. There are armed uh, guards at various school functions and so forth. I think we need to look at that. Whether we need it in every classroom, probably not. That's probably excessive. Uh, but I agree with what the governor said. Uh, he said we need a thoughtful approach to this whole issue, and we have to look at all the different constituent parts of it. So much of, uh, you know this far better than I, but so much of what is out there in the way of law, criminal law especially, is aimed at, at perhaps deterring somebody who might consider the consequences of their behavior. So, so if that's the case, I mean, we're kind of, I hate to say we're barking up the wrong tree, but unless you find a way to, to impact those people who are the ones who appear to be most likely to commit these kind of crimes, there's nothing really on the legal side we can do. Well, there's deterrent and there's also punishment, which is another legitimate law enforcement aim. Uh, but if most of these people tend to either take themselves out or put themselves in a position where the police will take them out. What does that tell you? Well, that's why you need mental health as part of the overall solution. Are we doing enough with that in this state? Uh, I think we could do more. We could have more community programs. We could devote more uh, resources to it. When we think of health care in this country, too often we think about physical health. We really ought to think about mental and physical health. Uh, roughly 25% of adult Americans have some form of mental disorder, mental health issue. That's a staggering amount. Would you preclude all of them? from having access to weapons? No, I don't think we should preclude all of them from having access to weapons, but it's not just the access issue. It's the issue of their own health. Because as you say, it's not just a question of gun control, because that's never gonna solve the problem completely. The issue is, are we well as society? Do we put the right focus on things that matter, like mental health and physical health? I think we could do more, and I think we need to do a better job at balancing those things. We have to leave it there. Thank you for coming in. Thank you.